All right, guys, let's build up into getting a little bit out of our stationary area and kind of working on our levels, high, low, working on some combination moves. Again, you don't need a basketball hoop, just need a little more space. If you got a driveway, great, or a bigger room at the house. For instance, I'm gonna start a little further back, get downhill into my, into my combo moves, whatever that we're working on, different change of directions. Again, just need a little more space. Focus on a high and slow dribble, getting into a low combination move or change of direction that we're gonna do. That's the things I wanna focus on. So again, take a few steps back from, from where you're watching. And we wanna be nice and high and slow. This is what we call a setup dribble. We wanna freeze your defender. We're gonna go same side foot cross. So I come a little closer, you're gonna look at my footwork. I'm high and I'm gonna split my feet. So if I'm in my, my, for this drill, I'm in my right hand. It may look like left on the video camera, but I'm in my right hand. My right foot is gonna go angle forward, slightly at an angle. I'm not going in a straight line forward and I'm not going lateral. For this, I'm gonna dig at an angle to get my defender just to shift one direction and I'm going crossover coming low. Make sure our crossover is low so that nobody can poke and touch at our basketball, right? So again, take some steps back. I'll walk through it slow, add a little bit of gain speed. We'll just go three reps slow and then go three fast. Again, do what works for you. Nice and high, slow, two, three, step change. Put it back in that same hand. Again, slow, one, two, three, step and cross. Come on back. Slow, high, drop low, play out to your left, all right? That's, let's go a little quicker now. Just on your chain, still stay nice and high and low on your, I mean, sorry, high and slow on your setup, and then dig in low, get into your, get into your move, all right? One, two, three, step change. Come on back. One, two, three, step change. Next one, one, two, Three, step and change and go. All right, we can flip it. So now I'm gonna get into my left hand. Again, ball side foot is going. And then you're gonna snap underneath, get into your next change, go in the other direction. All right, then nice and slow. One, two, three, open, left foot, step, come back. Slow, two, three, angle, cross, come on back. One, two, three, step cross, come on back. All right, let's get into a little quicker game speed. There you go, slow, two, three, downhill change. Slow, 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 one, two, three, angle change. Last one, all right, here we go. Again, just work on your mechanics, work on opening up your hips. Go at your speed, just continue to get better each rep. One, two, three, angle change. Teaching points again, opening up your hips, ball side foot is gonna be your most important step to get that defender to go one way, change into other hand, nice and low on your cross, they can't touch your ball, get them to your next step. Work on your levels, change of speed, opening up your hips and shoulders. Another good drill, and again, we're talking on our downhill work where we need a little more space. We call these sit down stop dribbles. Exactly what it is, we're gonna sit down, and come to a stop on our behind the back. Do not stop before you're behind the back. Stop and then go. We want to get downhill, defender cuts you off, and then you're coming down to what we call a little stop behind. All right? We want to be high to start and then dig in low. And our last two dribbles are going to be this kind of pace. Quick, quick. All right? Again, I'll go through it slow and y'all can give it a go. One two, three, four, five. Again, we're not going straight line. We're gonna angle below body, try to get as much space as you can with your back foot. With the right hand, our first step's gonna be out of our left foot, and then we're quick, one, two. And then we're gonna come on back. And notice the pace. Now slow, 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 pop, dig, sit, one, two. And then come on back. All right, let's get five of them, go a little quicker. All right, again, for you more advanced kids, you can work out any kind of combo setup drill. Imagine, use your imagination, someone's guarding her, right? Okay, give yourself some room. Pace, 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 get downhill. Downhill, one step. Slow, come on back. One, two, whatever you may be ready. Two, sit, come on back. Get three more. Two, pop. One, two, three. 
breathe downhill. Last one. One, two, three, open up. Sit. There we go. Good work. All right, again, do exactly the same thing. Just going to our left. Open up with your right foot downhill. Those last two dribbles. And really sit and come to your stop. Notice my feet are squared because we want to take a jump shot out of this. Got to be ready to shoot. All right. Last teaching point on it. Make sure when you go one and sit, look where my feet are. Ready to explode up to a shot. All right. Give it a go. Hey, guys, let's get into our next drill. We call these snatch backs. Exactly what they mean. We're going forward and we're going to snatch the basketball back. A couple of teaching points for you. We're going to go cross step. So again, if I'm in my right hand, we're going to cross step. Nice long lunge to get that defender to shift that direction and your back foot, which for this one is gonna anchor into the floor, okay? Really work on good angles, getting your uh, ball outside your frame, past your defender, nice long stance, and then you snatch it back with that same foot. So it looks like cross step comes back. Notice how this foot really anchors into the floor. You come back, it's kind of an angle lunge, come back. Watch my hand, it's gonna push out and come on back. Similar when we did our push pulls on our two ball stuff, two ball drills, that's what it's gonna feel like. Pull it out, nice long, get that ball away, snatch it back. For this drill, our ball is gonna get outside of our frame and it's gonna try to get ahead of you. That's really gonna get that defender to think that you're going that way because you've got ball and body beyond them and then you're gonna snatch it, come on back, all right? Here's what it looks like, all right? Let me get my feet digged in. One, two, three, four. Cross step, come back, switch hands. Put it back in that same hand again. One, two, three, four. Push, pull. Notice how my dribbles are similar to our sit down that we worked on. This is gonna go out and back. Last two dribbles, pop, pop. Good ball speed, hand speed, all right? Go a little quicker, bang out three of them, and then you get to work, all right? One, two, three, two. Slow, 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 free the defender. And quick, two. One, two, three, slow bite. Let's get one more, one more in, here we go. Real good one, make sure it's your last one's your best one. There you go, angle two, pop, pop. And then obviously you would switch it going to your left. Don't need to get over that for, for drill purposes. But we're going cross step, angle back. Left hand, open up, right step, one, two, anchor your back foot. Again, these called snatchbacks. Give them a go.